guys welcome back to my channel um we have the sun is streaming in the window this afternoon um here in texas and i thought it'd be really fun to do more spooky style related things since you guys love that um and i thought today it'd be fun to talk about my collection of jewelry like some of my favorite spooky jewelry halloween jewelry rings necklaces earrings and maybe some of my spooky pin collection um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna get into today. If you're new to my channel, hi everyone, I'm Laura. Thank you guys for checking out my channel. I love Halloween, I'm obsessed with Halloween. <laughs> As you know, I decorate for Halloween year round here at my office and um, I post year round on Instagram. I do over the top Halloween decor every year. I also do Halloween artwork. So you can find me on Etsy under Halloween Hill Studio and I sell originals and prints in my shop there. It's all about spooky dreams, spooky nostalgia, and living that Halloween life. So um, yeah, so thanks for stopping by. So we're gonna move into it. Um, there's a lot of glare. So I'm gonna try to stay over here to show you guys these individual pieces. And I have a list of all of the makers. I bought a lot of these on Etsy. So, um, so you can see. So we're gonna start with these. These are from an Etsy shop called I'm Your Present. Are just this iconic JOLs, the black JOLs with the heart eyes, and I just love these. They make such a statement. Um, they look really cute with any outfit. Boop, boop, boop. So these are just ones I love to wear, especially like if I'm at the pumpkin patch or doing something like really like fun and autumnal. And they're also just fun to wear year round because they're so cute and they're they're not just like a black pumpkin with like I mean an orange pumpkin with like yellow eyes. It's like a more interesting black pumpkin. So yeah, these are from, the shop is called I'm Your Present. I will put all the list of the names of the shops um, down below, but these are just so cute. I love these, I wear them all the time. Boop, definitely some of my faves. The next ones are from a shop, I'm looking at my list, called I Am Not, I Am So Not Cool Vintage. I Am So Not Cool Vintage um, is the name. And these were actually um, a gift, um, I think back in 2018 or 19. But it is the iconic Bystol Pumpkin Man um, as a dangle earring. It's just so cute. Because as you guys know, I thrifted this um, exact Bystol Pumpkin Man with the jointed legs and arms. Um, these are just so cute. Like I have to get up close so you guys can see how cute these look in the ear. Super cute. And they're like iconic vintage, which I love. So yes, I am not I am so not cool vintage. I am so not cool vintage is the name of the shop that does these. Obsessed. These next ones um, aren't from Etsy. These are Betsy Johnson. And these aren't usually my style. I think these are like more um, sparkly than what I'm usually used to, but they are, I guess, sort of like skeleton head with a crown and skeleton queen earrings. Um, just so you can see how these look. But these are fun and like, they're just, they look like normal earrings from afar, but up close you can tell they're, you know, skulls. So I think that's sort of a fun, I don't know. It's just, it's just fun. It's just, it's just delightful. It's just delightful. So we have those. The next ones are by um, Odd Like Us is the brand. I got them on Etsy as well. And these are just sort of summer daisy earrings, but they have a JOL center. Oh, these are so cute because they look just like summer earrings like from afar they look just like summer flowers but then when you look up close you can see that they're jack-o-lanterns jack-o-lantern faces um, i'm trying to get them out of the glare it's a little bright no just get them out of the glare but they are so cute i love the little sparkly leaf so these are just my sort of fun halloween summer spring earrings and they have this sort of like a, a retro vibe as well which i like boop, boop, boop. so cute okay the next pair of earrings these are stud earrings these are very small they're by Bar verona black um danielle as you know she also does like a lot of handmade bags that are really cool um but these are tiny stud earrings in the witch house Let's see if i can get these on here so you guys can see them ah i hope this thing would focus on you focus it's not gonna focus but it's the witch house in Salem and their little stud earrings um, so they're, they're tiny 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 but they're just like a tiny little spooky accent when you want something really spooky and cute um, they're not it's, it won't it won't focus shoot 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 but they're so cute 
Okay, so next is my sort of necklace selection. I have some th two things that are more spooky spooky and then things that are just more subtle. Because I think like more subtle is more my style, but I love to have like the spooky pieces that are just really fun, you know? So this one I also found on Etsy and it's by a brand called Dulce Calaveritas. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Dulce Calaveritas. Um, it is this really cute JOL pendant. Look at that, look how cute that is. I love this sort of filigree Victorian background to it. All handmade, all gorgeous, and just like around the neck. It's just so cute. Looks so stinking cute. So it's one of my favorite pieces just to wear, just to have like a fun Halloween accent. Um, it's just so, so cute. Love it. That one. We are going to move on to the next one. And this one um, is another Bessie Johnson piece. I think I found it at like TJ Maxx or something like that. Um, but it is so cute. I wear this all the time. This one I wear this year round. Um, and it's just one of these classic JOLs with sort of sparkles in it. And the back is also sparkly. It's just really, really fun to just wear around your neck. I need to put this one on. Look how cute this looks. Just like having it outfit yeah so that is really cute I wear this all the time um, I wore this like last week <laughs> so I wear this year round and um, it's just really really fun and cute boop, boop. okay now we're moving into things that are less overtly spooky but I I still wear them all the time my favorite ones one of my favorite brands for jewelry is called Rewind Jewelry, um, and the artist's name is Carlos. He like hand makes all these sort of steampunk-inspired pieces. I have two rings from him. They're both um, sort of skeleton-related. I have this one, and I have this one. I'm trying to get close up so you guys can see these, um, but they look really cool on. I, I love that one, and then this one. Put this one on this finger if it'll fit it won't okay we'll try it on another finger we'll try it on this finger um it's just like a skeleton and then it's like the rib cage that goes all the way around um, but yeah he hand makes all of these um so before the pandemic uh, we have a market in houston called the nutcracker market and it's, it benefits like the the houston ballet and things like that so the houston nutcracker market and so he's there every year so that is where i discovered him and i find i follow him online he has really really cool things on his website really steampunk inspired which I absolutely love this is another piece by him he takes like salvaged watch parts um, let's see if I can get this to focus and he makes them into like necklaces and bracelets and so this is just another sort of choker it's like a steampunk looking choker it looks really really cool and I have a longer piece by him and this shorter piece but I wear these all the time um, they're just so cool detail on that. He takes like really cool antique pieces out of watches and makes them into really cool unique jewelry which I really really love. So Rewind Jewelry is that which I absolutely love. Um, my next piece is by Mercury Hour and this is a palmistry hand sterling silver necklace and I just love it. I think it's so so stinking cool looking. Um, let's see it better like that but it looks really really cool on and it's just a really unique piece um and so the, i like things that are sort of you know witchy sort of halloween but not necessarily like a jack-o-lantern like they're more like this is much more subtle it's much more like high-end looking than you know a jack-o-lantern but i love those too i love that look as well so it's sort of like whatever mood you're in Let's see how cool this looks So that's that piece. Um, the next necklace, this is another um, artist that I love. It's uh, Xanthia Pink and she is on Etsy. She's on Instagram. She's a Reiki healer. She's an artist. She does a lot of cool things, but she wraps crystal pieces in wire, um, semi-precious stones, and she Reiki infuses them with Reiki energy. So they're really healing and really like amazing. And like you really feel the energy coming off of them when you wear her pieces. I have a bunch of her pieces and I love wearing them. Um, this is a wing, a carved wing that's been wrapped. So this is just like a fun piece to put on, like to just, just to wear and have. And um, it's sort of spooky, just because my hair is the longest hair. <laughs> I need to get a haircut. 
Um, it's just like fun to have. Um, it's because it's sort of spooky, but it's not like overtly spooky, which I love. So that is always nice. The next piece is another one I love. This one is actually from J. Crew. It's one of those like statement necklaces, but from back in the day. But it's all in black, and it reminds me um, a lot of like Victorian morning jewelry. Let's see if I can show you up close. And it's like um, choker style, so it goes like that. But I just think it's so, so cool, and it's stuck in my hair, but it's so cool, and um, I just love how it looks. And it's, a, it's like, it's a piece that I've kept for years. Um, this is what happens when you have long hair. Um, it's just a piece I've had for years, and I just feel like it's gorgeous, and it's sort of timeless. It like, has that Victorian, Victorian vibe. Okay, so we are moving on to spooky pins, and I have a good spooky pin collection. It's a small but mighty spooky pin collection. Um, I do not remember where this one is from. Maybe y'all will remember um, where this pin is from. I don't remember the, the brand, but I'm obsessed with it. Was it Terra Threads? I don't know. I don't know who it was from. So if you guys know, um, let me know, and I'll put it in the comments. It's one of my favorite ones. Also, it's like a nice statement piece, like on your shirt. Looks really, really cute. Love it. The next one's by Megan Maley, who's another um, spooky artist that I absolutely love. She's like killer style. Um, it's this really cute skeleton and pumpkin, one of her limited edition pins from 2018. Um, and I always keep them on the backing when I'm not wearing them just so I don't lose them. You can see how cute it would look. They just on like a shirt. That one's so cute. Um, another one by Megan. That's another one by Megan. Um, I, this one is interactive. I love it. And it glows in the dark. It's this bat holding the pumpkin. Um, I think that is just so, so stinking cool. And it looks really cool on. Just the bat shape looks really cool on. It's really, really cool. This next one is by Terra Threads as well. It's just like this spooky hand. I love the sort of atmosphere behind it with the bats and the moon and the clouds and everything like that and the spooky jack-o'-lantern. And also the neon colors are fun. I think it's fun, it's fun. Um, the next two, my last two pieces um, in the pin genre by one of my Halloween besties, Vincent from Halloween Herbivore, Halloween Herbivore Art. He does like amazing, amazing work. So both of these are by him. This one is called Halbo Queen. Yeah, I love it, so cute. And then we have Halloween community member. These are fun to wear while you're like, you know, going Halloween hunting. You know, put them on your jacket, put them on your shirts. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is a smattering of some of my favorite jewelry that I have in my spooky collection. I do have a lot more, so if you wanna see more, we can do part two. Also, the lighting is crazy. I am going to Sleepy Hollow um, in two days. So I'm trying to film and get things out so I can keep my schedule. And so we're just having to film in sort of strange lighting, but um, that's okay because we get to see all the cool stuff and we get to show off our earrings, our fun earrings, the things we love. These would be actually be cute to wear mixed match together. Um, yeah, and we just get to see everything, but you know, I think I'm gonna bring this on my trip. Just the rewind rib cage. I shrieked when I saw this. I like, I shrieked and I'm like, I need that. And so I bought it and then I saw this one and my sister and my brother-in-law got that for me for Christmas. I think maybe in 2019, it was like in the before times. I wear it every day. I wear these every day um, along with the, the watch necklace. I wear them all the time. But yeah, so that is it uh, for this video. Let me know what your favorite piece is. And uh, yeah, shoot down the likes. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I have tons of other spooky jewelry I can highlight as well. And I will do a list of all the brands below and where I found them if you wanna check out these individual artists' shops. Highly recommend. Um, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. If you want more Halloween Year Fun, you can find it, find me on Instagram, under the Halloween Collector and Halloween Hill Studio. Um, but for now, um, keep on spooking.